I see you. I see you. I see you. That sound in the background is actually dancing with the stars. I don't watch the show, but I do watch the show that comes on afterwards on Tuesday nights, Cupid, um, with Bobby Cavanaugh. I think that's how you say his last name. I really enjoy him. He not only is very pleasant to look at, but he's actually a really good actor. I enjoyed him in Station Agent um, with um, Peter Dinklage, who is one of my favorite actors in general. Um, I, I enjoy his work too, so I think he's very talented. On an upshot, I, I do believe that uh, Chuck is going to be saved, which is nice, because um, I enjoy that show for its nerdiness, and I mean, the season finale went out with like a huge bang. That was really cool. And um, 1,000 cool points for me, because I guessed right about last week's Lost episode. Daniel Faraday did say goodbye, courtesy of his mother, um, if you don't watch the show or you didn't forget to watch last week. My bad. I'm excited because tomorrow I'm going to get to go see Star Trek in IMAX. And I will be totally honest with you, I'm not a Trekkie. I never really watched any of the Star Trek movies. Um, I don't really like Star Trek. I know, I know, Dave, that's like a crime against humanity or something for you, but I don't. But I'm excited about this movie. One, because I like J.J. Abrams. Two, because the cast looks really cool. Um, the writing sounds good, the CGI looks great, cinematography looks fantastic, so I'm kind of excited about seeing it. I'm going to see it on IMAX, which is really cool. Um, I made a new video for my personal channel, which you can find, link in the sidebar, or link in the sidebar, whichever way it is. I don't know why I just put these on, but I did. I am feeling very distracted tonight, because my brain is completely frazzled because of work. I've been writing scripts all day, and then I just had a two and a half hour meeting about naming our puppets for our new two year old environment. Um, but we came to a decision. We now have four newly named puppets, but I can't tell you the names of them because if I did, I'd have to kill you. Because that is how we roll at my church. That kind of brings me to Liz's blog post from Sunday. Um, you know, I think that's really cool that you are now um, thinking of going back to church. But um, I can understand where you're coming from about the whole organized religion thing. I mean, um, my brother's a Christian, but he doesn't go to church. And just because I work inside organized religion doesn't mean I'm going to push him to go. Because, you know, even it says in the Bible, you know, about it's not about the building. It's about the people and the relationship that you have with God. Um, so, but then that also does say that you do need to gather and fellowship with others. So, I mean, there's upshots and there's downshots to going and not going. But, um, you know, I think that a lot of you do know that I do work at a church. And I will be completely honest with you. I am not going to, like, sit here and debate with you about my beliefs. I believe what I believe. Um... And I'm not one to really debate with people about it. Um, if people want to talk, I will. But I'm not going to be like, hey, I think you should believe what I believe because I believe it. I think that's um, ignorant and it's just plain stupid. Um, I'm not going to judge you if you don't share the same beliefs as me. I um, That's what I think is so great about this country is that we do have the opportunity to have different beliefs and talk about them and still get along with each other for the most part because of it and I think that's the one thing that is lacking in our society is that sometimes we get all up in arms when we do have different opinions and you know we start lambasting and, and, and judging people because they have different opinions but when we should be welcoming them and be like that's that's cool you know let's I love you despite our differences which I think is a big thing for me I'm more about the love the love should be given all around. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave you with- ah!